Hey guys, it's Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about some coins that we sold to somebody and we had to buy back from them. What's something that we can learn as coin dealers and, and uh, collectors watching this video today? I want to take you on a little ride, show you the coins, and also show you some new purchases. Let's get this video started. Most of the time when we talk about coin collecting, we're talking about the collecting side of it or talking about the investment side of it. And sometimes, uh, you know, you as a collector might be more inspired to buy coins um, in certain times. You might be more inspired to buy them for an investment. And uh, what Seth Chandler always said, which I kind of agree with, is that he, one, he doesn't own a crystal ball, which means he doesn't know what the future holds for the value of coins. And two, make sure that you're a coin dealer before you're an investor. And that's not exactly the words that he said, but that's kind of what I learned from it. Enjoy the hobby because you love the hobby. Don't enjoy the hobby because you want to make some money. The second thing I want to talk about is how you should approach coins if you are thinking about investing in coins. Like every market, it is cyclical, which means it goes up and down based on how people feel about coins, how people feel about the market of coins. And so if you're going to buy coins and you're not a dealer and you haven't been working in the space and you don't have a lot of people to sell to, my, and you don't want to hold them for a long period of time, my advice is to probably not start buying coins if you don't see them as long-term investments. And what cyclical kind of means is that, say, you bought them at a high at, you know, in 2020, right? And when 2020, 30 rolls around, you're selling them and you're making something of a profit. And so the kind of way that we approached getting these coins is that we've been working with this collector for about a year now. And so... We ended up buying them back and we need to make profit on those coins. And so if someone's going to buy coins within six months or sell coins within six months of buying them and they are a collector, we're going to have to get our profit back into those coins so we can buy them. We're not going to go buy them for the height of the market or we're not going to go buy them for most of their value if we can't make uh, money selling them to you guys. And so it's just something for you guys to consider. Think about um, if you are a collector. It's not supposed to be a quick flip. It's supposed to be something that you enjoy for a long period of time and you want in your personal collection. And then one day it'll bear fruit, just like most other investments. I am not a financial advisor. But now we're going to be talking about those coins, showing them to you. And we're going to be showing you some other new purchases that we got in. If you guys want to check those out, kushacollectibles.com. Starting out with two trays today. One is the dollars that we picked up from the collection. The other is some nice tone stuff. Let's show you that first. Showing you something out of the ordinary uh, to begin. This is the 1901 Mexico Peso. It's great AU58 by NGC. Nice colorful toning on both sides of the coin. Does have gentle wear. Just taking a look at this color on the obverse really makes it pop and interesting. Bought this and had a client that came through and see me buy it and we ended up selling it to him super quick. But I definitely wanted to show you guys. Got two Standing Liberty Quarters with some nice toning. This is a 26S. Standing Liberty Quarter, really nice rainbow rim toning, mid-grade, old soapbox, kind of cool. Then we have this 28D, Standing Liberty Quarter with some blue and purple toning to it. Nice luster on the coin as well. Not a crazy uh, tough date, but I did like the eye appeal of the coin, and so that's why we picked it up. About two piece dollars to talk about today. This is a 26S, definitely a slider. It is slid. As you can see just by the cheek there and a lot of chatter kind of in the fields. But bought a white coin with a lot of luster. And that's what sells for us. Speaking of selling, this one sold pretty quickly right after we posted on our website. Make sure to check on it daily. We try to post as many coins as possible as soon as we get them in. This is a 1923 piece dollar at MS64. When we do buy, buy piece dollars, we want them with a lot of luster. This one happens to be an OGH holder as well. Slight toning on, uh, on the eagle on the reverse. You can see that little bit of haze there. Moving on to the dollars, all old holders, all really nice and eye appeal. Kind of like most of the coins that we showed you over there, except for this Colombian. It's not the most prettiest coin, so what do you do with that coin? You sell it for back of comps. This one has a little bit of toning to it, still a nice grade, but definitely doesn't have the eye appeal that you'd be looking for if you're gonna spend top retail money, like $150, $160. This one's $130. But when we talk about eye appeal, we talk about old holders, we talk about CAC, a lot of people are looking for these, so 
We try to price them fair, but also not giving them away. So let's talk about the 82cc top right. Old blue holder. Luster's phenomenal. There are some hits kind of right on the face there, a little chatter out in the fields. But definitely Jemmy Luster. Really like the coin. A little haze to the coin. We have this 84cc in OGH. A little bit more chatter, as you can see. Luster's un uninterrupted. Not much haze to the coin at all. When you flip it over, a little hazy on the reverse, but like I said, again, just really strong in its luster. It's 84cc. There's a light scratch on the holder in front of the face. It's not on the coin. Just your average 84. A lot of these Carsons were just a little bit more beat up than most, most dollars, and so uh, finding them in 66, 67 is a little bit tougher. We have three CAC approved Rattlers on the bottom, which is nice, 78 CC. You can see that there's a little bit more going on in the fields on this coin and on the face. Most of the time they look at the face and the obverse when they're grading. And so uh, I think this coin's graded fair. It's maybe a 64 by today's standards, but honestly, if we can buy some, get someone a great coin, then we're gonna do so. And they're gonna pick it up the way that we have it. This is an 81 cc and 63 also. I mean, just really looks nice for a 63. Not enough for a gold CAC in my opinion, but I do think probably a 64 by today's standards. And we have this 85 cc, which is the highest value one of the group. It's the lowest mintage of the group and uh, luster is pretty phenomenal also. Does have some strong chatter right behind the, the lip, the top lip and uh, all the way down kind of the cheek there. But as you can see, the cheek is mostly clear, just a lot of chatter in on the front of the coin. But when you kind of compare this one to the 84 and the 82, it really gets close to a 65. So I think we're splitting hairs on a lot of these coins, but when we're talking about buying nice coins, sometimes you gotta pay strong. And we did pay what most people wouldn't pay for a lot of these coins, but like I said, again, they just have a lot of demand and they're really nice. And so, yeah, thanks for taking a look. Here's one last thing you guys should consider before clicking off this video. What I would say is that if you're going to buy a coin, buy a coin that you love, buy a coin that you'll want to keep forever. If the market goes to absolutely zero, you don't mind picking up that coin every day and loving it just the same. When we buy coins to keep them, we think of it in that matter. And we also think of the pluses and minuses of the collecting side and investing side of it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the subject we had to talk about today. Do you agree? Do you disagree? We'd like to read all those below. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you guys in the next video. As dealers and as collectors from this deal. Hey guys, this is Truth Kush Collectibles. Nah, let's just wait. One second. Dumb airplane. We're gonna be talking about a collection that we sold to somebody and we bought we sold a lot of coins to him, and then we bought them back. Uh, what's something that you Restart.